The last time my bestie put me on an online dating app, it lasted exactly 30 minutes and then as soon as she turned her back, I deleted the profile. At least this time, I lasted a little bit longer. I don't know what it is with online dating apps and online dating websites, and but it is just really still grossing me out. And I, I am a digital native. I understand that vast majority of my life is spent online and crafted online. I should be the first to be embracing the whole digital dating, you know, ecosphere, but I am not down for it. But you know, in an effort to not be so uptight and old school about things, I decided that I was gonna select one online dating app type thing and give it a try. Oh, in looking around, clearly I wasn't gonna try Tinder, which is just a hookup app. Clearly I wasn't gonna try Happen, which I think is a European French version of Tinder, which I talked about in my Dating in London series. You should check that playlist out if you haven't already. Um, but I didn't wanna try any of those hookup apps and I didn't wanna try any of the free ones that my bestie tried to put me on when I was living in New York, Plenty of Fish or anything like that. I decided to try one called Coffee Meets Bagel. to try Coffee Meets Bagel is because I saw them, real talk, I saw them on the Shark Tank show. And it was three sisters and they came in to pitch their new business idea. And the business idea was Coffee Meets Bagel, but the name is kind of discreet and it's kind of supposed to have a little bit more zhuzh than the other regular hookup apps. So when I finally did settle down here in DC, I said, okay, I'm finally in a city where I'm gonna stay for a long period of time. So let me see if I could like tip my toe into one of these online dating, you know, equal sphere thing. So I selected coffee meets bagel. Long story short, it was a waste of two weeks of my life. Now I know what you're gonna say, you gotta try it longer than that, but I really, I don't have time. If something is not working, you know, in two weeks, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get bored with it. And so basically, you know, you do your little online profile, and the most difficult thing for me is writing the profile. Because I like to be transparent, and I like to be truthful, but the, but the character limits, it's very difficult for a writer. I consider myself um, a creative person, and writing is one of my outlets that I absolutely love. It's just to be so limited to express your true character in these little bio prompts and to try to be witty but not to be trying too hard but to express the truth of your cheekiness and to be enticing. It's just so many different dynamics that go into writing that that bio. And for me, it was already giving me so much anxiety. So I tried to just write something a little cute on there, which I did. And I did put my pictures up, but which was very, very frightening for me because I am very careful with my online persona. Putting your pictures out there with this profile, kind of fishing, if you will, just freaked me out a little bit, but I decided to go outside of my comfort zone, outside of the box, and go ahead and put the profile up there. And so every day at 12 noon, the app sends you a curated map based on your Facebook uh, friends and where you live. And so every day at 12 noon, it pings your phone and it says hot fresh bagel, ready for you, or something very cheesy like that that's supposed to be discreet so people don't know you're trying to hook up and date somebody in an online app. So every day I would look and it would give me, you know, a guy and you, first week or so, what you're supposed to do is say yes, yay or nay to certain guys so that the algorithms in the app start to learn your uh, preferences. So I gave it about two full weeks and it was still giving me these real whack guys. It was not giving me the right kind of quality guys, you know, and not responding to what I typically like. So I just kind of got bored with it. It's still on my phone, but I don't really check it anymore. I don't know, I'm really, really not into the online dating thing, but I decided, you know what? I'm gonna step outside of my comfort zone. I am going to give this a try, and it doesn't make sense for me to limit myself that way. So I haven't decided if I'm gonna go and try another one like Match or eHarmony or all the other ones. Black People Meet, shoot. I heard good things about that, but uh, you know, all the other ones, Crystal Pe Crystal Christian Mingle, you know, I haven't tried any of the other ones, but I'm thinking about it. But tell me what you think. Do you online date? What are the best sites? And how do you do a profile and a pictures that are true to who you are? The reason why I do these vlogs is because I want you guys to know that you are not alone out here in this sometimes crazy dating world. Keep your head up. Keep your self-esteem going. It will all work out in the end. If this is your first time here, I would love to have you subscribe. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so 
so much for watching. I will catch you guys again in my next dating in DC. See you soon.